Hi, everyone. So my name is Elias, and today I'm going to tell you more about how to go beyond your expectations and how you can overcome your fear. Fear is our main barrier. Every time we want to do something, we always have this fear that makes us not taking the decision. Maybe not the right decision, maybe not the wrong decision. So before I start, I would like to have one volunteer on the stage. Can I have someone? Please, okay. So just stand here. Just in front of me. No, from the other side. You turn around. <laughs> and then I want you to lie down on me. <laughs> yep. Can I go? <laughs> Can you? No. Okay. <laughs> Why you cannot? Okay, great. Thank you very much. So I'm going to tell you about the process of taking a decision. First thing, we have a situation, which is like this situation. I asked for a volunteer, and someone came up to the stage. And then he was thinking whether I take the decision to lie down on this person that I don't know, who is the unknown person, or I don't trust him and I cannot make it. Because that's something very hard to do, to lie down without seeing some, uh, the person who is behind you and then just to leave yourself to that person. So the process is simple. You have first the options, whether I do it or I don't do it. And then you have to choose. And this choice is one of the biggest fear. The choice can be very simple. You go in the supermarket and you have different brands. You take three, four, five minutes to choose only one brand to take. How many of you did this before? How many of you take a long time to take a decision? Many people. And then you have the other part, which is how to act. How you take the right choice and you make it. And for this decision, it's a lot of stories. First, if I will fail. Second, if I will win. Third, if I will win something out of it. So that's the most important thing. And then, we have the ideas. Any one of us, each person have even a single idea. But then, if I will make it in, into practice or not, that's the right or the wrong decision. Mm -hmm. I think you have to I think you have to Sorry. Usually, when we want to make a decision, we have people who are surrounding us, which is our environment, whether they tell us this word, which is very hard, saib, or they tell us shumdakhlik, which is why do you care, especially when you want to make a project. I will give you an example. This morning, I was going out of my bed, and then I found my mother. She told me, are you going to have a lunch today in the, in, at home? I told her, no, I'm going to TEDx. She was like, what is FedEx? I was not FedEx, TEDx. What is it? I'm going to give a speech to inspire other people about my experience within taking a decision. And she was like, why do you care about other people? I was like, no, it's only about sharing. It's only about giving my opinion and so on. So sometimes, even if we, with our negative thoughts and our, the negative thoughts of our environment, we try to explain them and we give them more uh, um, decisions and more arguments in order to convince them about our point of view. Then we have the masmar fihit, which is every single parent think about it, which is to find a job in a public sector and not leave yourself to be an entrepreneur or to, be, to have your own project and so on. So that's also one of the things that my parents always repeat me. Find a job in a public sector. Find a job where you can have more sustainability, financial sustainability. And I was like, no, I want to start my own job. And then, impossible. This is the worst thing. Every time I have an idea, I go to one of my friends, I told them, I have an idea, I want to do this, this. I was like, with all the excitement that I have. And then someone come and tell me, I'm possible. I'm like, destroyed, completely destroyed. I cannot even continue to think about what is coming next. So all the negative energy, we have to surround it by another positive energy, which will give us how we have to do it in the right way. 
So now I'm going to give you more examples about some of the fears that we have. Do you know that public speaking, the fear of public speaking, it's on the top one in the fears that we have as a human being. It's even worse than fear of death, even though death is it's the extreme for every one of us. But why? Why do we care when we are standing in front of 100 person or 1,000 person and we speak? Because we are stressed, because we don't know what other people think, and because of the judgment. Because each person in front of us can make a judgment in only 0.3 seconds about this person, how he, he gonna speak, and also this person, who is it? And then it's all about the analyze that we give from the first second when we see that person. Then we have how, to, how we can make the failure. And that's also another uh, um, barrier in order to take the decision. So failure for each one of us is something that we don't, we want, we don't wanna reach. And that's why while we take the decision, we take a lot of time. Because we think, if, we, if I will fail, is it gonna be the right decision? If I will fail, what will happen? What's the consequence of this failure? And that's also another thing that we have to think about. It's, if I will fail, are, am I going to win? Am I going to have something good for myself? Am I going to learn a new experience? And that's the thing that we have to think about. How we can change the negative vibes from a negative vibes to a positive vibes. And in that way, we're gonna know how we can choose our path. So now I'm gonna speak about the ecosystem, the ecosystem of a human being. Since we were born, they were trying to teach us how we can walk. But while they were trying to teach us how we can walk, someone were helping us behind. They were holding us, they were trying to show us how, to, how we can walk. And then the baby started to walk by himself. And in some point, of course he will fail. And in this failure, he will cry, and then he will make the weird noise and so on, but then he will learn how to walk. For a baby, it's a failure. So try to convey this failure to the failure of some only one person. When you take a simple decision of going out, of changing of job, of creating your own career and so on, how are you gonna do it? You're gonna fail for sure, but from this failure, you will succeed in the end. So I'm going to tell you about some Tunisian experience of people who made some failures, but in the end, they became whether famous or they did a good career. First, we have Habiba Ghribi, which is an athlete. And she won a prize. And in the end of the day, she didn't find a support from media and so on. Because in Tunisia, we are thinking more about the negative vibes who can make us don't support people who are making the success. Second, maybe you didn't hear of him. He's Elias. He's 11 years old. He won a prize, the uh, biggest prize, or the mundial prize of mathematics. Then we have also Yassin, who won the mundial. He was first among 300 persons, and he won also a prize of mathematics. Did you ever heard of him? Exactly. And then we have the Nobel Prize. The Nobel Prize that every single person in Tunisia they were blaming on Facebook and social media the government who get the Nobel Prize. That any country in the world dream of getting this prize. Why? Because of the negative vibes. Because we don't see it as a success of our country. We see it as a failure because who won the Nobel Prize? But in the end of the day, see the article. They say the national dialogue of Tunisia, not of those specific people who won the Nobel Prize. So for myself, my biggest decision was, in some point of my life, I had some indecisions about whether I have to leave my job and security and start with my own organization, or whether I stay in the sustainability, because I, was, I have a, an experience in different fields. I got two master degrees. I was working a lot with different civil society organizations and companies. But then, one of the days, I decided to start my own company. Why? Because I saw different things in Tunisia that need to be fixed with people who are always blaming on each other, with a judgment that we are every single time we are making, even with the, our intentions, and also with people who are in lack of communication. Because today, if you go to the street, you will find people who are, whether fighting with each other, whether using violence, whether using swears, and so on. And we believed, when we started the organization, debates can be the tool to find this kind of violence and to make people more in peace, 
and also connect with each other. Then we made the project, which is Tunsi Wunghair, and we thought that every single Tunisian have an idea. And this idea needs to be supported. Even though the government itself, sometimes he don't support ideas of people, we believe that our own support as all, all the citizens who has already experienced. Earlier on the stage, someone, uh, the, the moderator said, who can sing? And we found out that there are a lot of artists in the, in the room. If those people don't, didn't speak up and took the decision to come on the stage and they uh, made the song, then we never knew that there, is, there, there are someone who has already artistic uh, background. So that's why you need to take a decision. You need to show up and take your own decision in order to support yourself as a person and to make your ideas happen. You need to take the opportunity as well, because every day from 8 a.m. when we wake up or 10 or whatever, until we sleep, we have different opportunities. But then whether we leave them behind because of our own sustainability and we don't wanna take the risk, or we're gonna go and go for it and then learn from it something new. So some rules that I created myself um, and then I was thinking about that I wanted to share with you in, in order to make you better in some point in your life. First thing is be grateful. Sometimes we are making a lot of efforts in our life. Sometimes we are trying to improve ourselves and we are doing great things. But in the end of the day, we don't find anyone who are greater to us to say thank you. So that's why it's better to be thankful for yourself, for your studies, for a success, for a failure, for something that you did good for, your, in, for someone else in the street, even if, if it's a stranger. Second thing is impossible is nothing. The impossible words should be banned from our system, from our ecosystem. Even if it's impossible, why not I try? Why not I give it a, a shot and then I do, I do something for myself? Because in the end, it will be benefit for, for myself. And then, going beyond our expectations. From every single decision, you will have an expectation behind. So what if you go beyond your own expectations? What will happen? You will try very hard to make it happen. Do you know the word surrender? How we can surround ourselves, how we can let it go. Sometimes when I, wanna, I have a decision to make, I want something very badly. For example, to get a laptop. I want it very badly, but then I don't have money for it. I don't have um, even someone who can give you money to, to buy it. When I want it so badly, usually we, I will not get it. But when I will let it go and I work for it in order to get it, whether I work or I just do search for opportunities and so on. But without really persisting on the decision, in the end of the day, it will come. You know why? Because our atmosphere, we share our vibes to the atmosphere in order to make it happen. And then it will come by itself. Because in the end of the day, the decision that we took as a person we were thinking about it every single moment on, in our life. And we say, yes, I did it. Yes, I did it. Yes, I, I, I had the laptop already. I dream of it, but I did it already. So what you have to do as a person, at least for myself, I dream of myself as a superhero. Why? Because I'm trying to encourage other people in the street. I try to help other people by trainings, by activities, and so on. So why all of us, we don't become the superhero of our own community and we stand together, we react together in order to make it happen. Even sometimes it's very hard. Sometimes we say the word al hate, but in the end of the day, even if it's hard, even if we cannot make it, in the end of the day, we will make it happen. Because we did only one thing that make it happen and impacted other, uh, the other person. So try to make a difference in your community. I say to every single friend, of, uh, uh, to every single friend, impact only one person. Do something good for only one person. Don't make it very large. Don't dream of impacting all Tunisia or a thousand persons or so on. Only one. Because this person, if you convince him to impact another person, then it will be a system. And in the end of the day, everyone will be impacted. And then travel the world. It's true that traveling it's very hard. It's true that it costs a lot of money. But if we look for opportunities, and there are plenty of opportunities with different organi uh, organizations, look for it. Make only on Google. 
travel abroad or opportunity for students or opportunity for young people and you will find plenty of opportunities and apply. Apply and apply again. And then you will discover other countries. You will discover other cultures and then you will discover yourself. Where do you stand in that specific culture of Europe or United States or whatever? And then how you can take back some of the learning things that you got in that experience in Tunisia. And don't forget your country. When I say your country, it's all, every single region of your country. And leave your print. Because even if you leave your print in only one person, then this person will leave his print to another person. And then, if we die, we will leave our name branded. And we will leave someone remember us every day. And dream of Tunisia as the biggest or the best country in the world. Because it can become. Germany was a disaster in some point, and then it became one of the biggest economy in, in Europe. United States didn't exist, but Tunisia is a 3,000-year th year history. We don't have to forget this. Even though the ecosystem is bad, we can still take the decision, make the impact, and then do a positive thing for our community in order to make it happen and be like any other country which is a, a developed country. And act now because it's a limited time opportunity. In the end of the day, we have only a few years to live, 100 year, 18 year, 90 year. What are the things that you wanna do as a person? What are the impact and the things that you wanna do? Because maybe it will be too late when you will leave this, this, house, this country. Thank you very much.